All right, we back. Another episode of REOP. Uh, it's your boy, Mr. Jefferson. It's your boy, Ampa Valley, man. And it's your boy, Willie Rats, a.k.a. Mr. Rats, a.k.a. DJ Rats, a.k.a. R-A-C-K dollar sign. Broke out any. Yes, sir. Take two, <laughs> man. I ain't, I'm going to break the fourth wall, man. We had recorded a little bit. I don't know what happened. My seven years podcast, I ain't never had a camera cut off on me, so it's the first time for everything. But anyway, man. We back another episode of REOP I'm with my brother, Mr. Jefferson. We got really Willie Rax in the building, man. But uh, we're gonna run this shit back, man. Let's let's go ahead and start all over. <laughs> Take it from the top. Take it from the top. Introduce yourself. You DJ. You rap. All that. All that good shit, man. So we're gonna go ahead and take it from the top. Yeah, man. I I rap and I DJ, man. And you feel me? And I'm a brand ambassador, man. Shout out to everybody who who rock with me, who close. I be rocking. You feel me? But yeah, I do it all. Like I, I do all type of shit. Man. Is that something that you got on today? The jacket? Yeah, yeah. This my dog shit. This my dog shot. The mic. New, no new, no newcomers. All that shit. Y'all tap in, man. For sure, for sure. So, um, you was telling us before a little bit about your DJing and um, which one would you say that you picked up more seriously first? Was it your rap or or or, or being a DJ? Okay, I picked up being a rapper first. Like, like I started, I started getting money off rapping last year. Like, that's what a lot of people don't understand. Like, you can rap, but do you get money off rapping? Like, is you making money off this shit? But I started making money like last year off the shit. I started DJing this year, and I feel like the DJ shit happened a lot faster. They pop faster than rapping. Cause I just started popping with the rapping shit really like this year. I hear that. And that's off the strength of me DJing and me playing my shit in the club, you feel me? And everybody catching the vibe. Like I got club hits, but I got different shit too though. Like, but I got club hits too. Like people fuck with my shit. Right. So um when you're rapping and whatnot, are you thinking about damn this gonna be for the club or you know, um I really a- don't. I really just, I write, so I just write my shit and shit, nah, I don't be feeling like this shit gonna be for the club. I just feel like if when I hear it, I know, all right, this a club hit, or this is just some shit I can slide to in the car, this a car vibe, or this some speed in music, like, that's how I classify, quarter, like, choreograph my, uh, my music and shit, like, yeah. So when you DJ in, like, when do you play your music? Do you like play like other people's shit? Then you like squeeze your in. So and like, what's some of the reactions you get when you play your music? Okay, like yeah, I don't just like play my shit in the club. No, I don't just only play my shit. I definitely like slide my shit in the mix, but I shot my shit out. Like, and then the reactions I get, it be like people fuck with, put people fuck with it. Like, you might have some. You might have somebody dance to my shit. You might have some niggas vibing to my shit. Like, it's just all different type of reactions to, to my song. People might pull up on me, tell me, run that shit back. Like, this you? Like, it be all type of surprising. Cause I, once, once I play, before I play my shit, I announce it's me. Yeah. Like, I don't be wanting people to like get it, get it confused. This is me, the right, DJ, right. like, this is my song. Right. Pull up on me if you're <coughs> fucking with my shit, boom. Three, four people might pull up on me like, oh yeah, this you, yeah, run that shit back. Oh, what's your Instagram? Yeah. It's just networking in the mix of me. Like, it's just, I found the cheat code to that shit, really. Like, it's a real deal pushing, not even just me. Like, it's it's pushing me and my niggas, like, niggas who I fuck with, I play their songs in the club, like, K7, Chef Social, like, all of everybody who I fuck with. I, if I feel like your shit raw in the club, I play that shit. I ain't no. That shit go around the club, shit. Why not have everybody fuck with your shit? Yeah. What you feel like your biggest song is when you play it in the club, or in general, when you play it? Ballhead ho shit. <laughs> Ballhead ho shit go crazy. Them BHS, it turn, it turn, it turn the females up. So it's <laughs> an automatic turn up. Yeah. So how did that song come about? Okay. I been had that song. I was just nervous to drop it on some. You feel me? This is this is my first like strip like twerk song type shit. So mm. 
I usually make music off get money type. I make me like make money music. So it kind of took me a little minute to drop it because I was like, man, I don't know. You feel me? The ladies gonna fuck with cause. You know, my dogs, they not, they not going to fuck it because we make money music, you feel me? So they going to yeah. be like, but really, what the fuck you doing? Right. But this not this not for y'all. This for the ladies. This for the bitches, nigga. Yeah. yeah, yeah. <laughs> 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 so, but when I did drop it, you feel me? I ain't lie, I dropped it a, a different a different way than, I, than it is now. And that shit, it did numbers. Like, it did numbers. So I, was, I wasn't feeling it, so I deleted it. Mm. On some just me shit. I was like, I ain't even fucking with this shit. I don't give a fuck who fuck with it. I know I can come harder than this. Right. Mm-hmm. Boom. I, I I redid that shit. I put my dog K7 on that bitch. Shout out Top Flight. And that shit go crazy. That shit go way, that shit way raw than the original one. Yeah, I hear that. And females fucking with it. And like my dog say, it's for the bitches. <laughs> Show that. <laughs> So uh, before uh, before we had to start over, I was about to ask you like, what's the uh, what's the uh, how many fans you think you got? Because this is like a crazy coincidence. So I'm gonna show you the text message so you can see no cap in my rap. All right. So I got a homie. His name is West West Denzel. He lived all the way out in San Antonio. Yeah. And he that's remi- where I was at. Yeah. <laughs> so he reminds. <laughs> I was he always asked me like who we interviewing and whatnot. So I told him we got you coming through. And he was like, Oh, that's the I sent that nigga to you a couple months ago. And I was like, What? <laughs> so I look back and like he sent me your shit right here. Like you can see the text message. Oh, September yeah, that's, 14th. Bro, oh, that's the that's his that's his little page. No, that's not his page. Oh, okay. okay it's okay. some random Yeah, that's some just some random San Antonio shit, but Bro, fuck with me. He be posting all my shit. Like, yeah, oh, okay. Because I'm tapped in in Texas. Like, I oh, went okay. to high school out there. Oh, so, okay. Yeah. No Willie yeah, Racks yeah, in Texas. Yeah, like, yeah. I ain't no local <laughs> joker, bro. Yeah. Like, I got I got fans, you feel me? I got emotion. That shit just be, like, from different areas. Like, just like you say, you hit somebody up in Texas, you be like, how the fuck you know this nigga? <laughs> yeah, exactly. Because he just randomly sent me the shit. He like, you heard of bro? And I was like, nah, <laughs> I ain't never heard of bro. And then I look back, and then I'm like, oh, that's a nigga who we interviewing today. Oh, yeah. like, that's crazy. Yeah, I mean, I don't know how many fans I got, man. I know I got people fucking with me, though. Like, I know that for sure, though. Like, people fuck with me. Like, I ain't going to stop. I can't stop, really. People are always going to tell me to keep going. Yeah. And it's just me got to stay focused in this shit and, you know, be tunnel vision and keep going because, like, life be happening and shit, and... Niggas just got to realize what they craft is. Yeah. And I feel like I figured it out. And it ain't just rapping shit. I like music. That's why yeah. I DJ and I can do this shit either way it go. It right, don't matter right. which way it go. I'm tapped in with the music lane. You feel me? And I just feel like that's my lane. And other money can come from this shit too. Yeah. So you talk about it uh, being a cheat code or whatnot. Um, talk about networking with other DJs. How does that go for you? Like... I don't network with a lot of DJs, man. Like, shout out the mailman, you feel me? Shout out fireman DJs, you feel me? I don't, I don't tap in with a lot of DJs, and a lot of DJs fuck with my song, bro. Like, it'll be on some random shit where I just come fuck with they, like what they got going on, and they'll play my shit in the club, and yeah. it just be like off the strength. It don't even be like how a regular degular come to the DJ. You feel me? Well, I need fifty or hundred. Nigga just play my shit. I ain't need much. Cause a nigga fuck with the song, ain't like an ass song. Like right, niggas yeah, right. come with rapping and niggas don't understand it's levels to shit. Like it level to shit. Like you can't have this song and think you gonna play this song in the club. Right. I right. got club songs for real that this shit is just mixing with whatever the fuck you got going on. I definitely feel that. For real. Do you feel like you got an upper hand as a DJ? From an artistic standpoint and as a uh, marketing standpoint. Yeah, cause I don't, I don't, I don't seen that shit, bro. Like we went to Atlanta one time, bro. Me and K Seven went to Atlanta one time, bro. And you don't know how easy it was to network with people just saying you the DJ. Right. Yeah. But I DJ right. in Jacksonville, bro. You know how many niggas just pulled up on me, bro? Yeah. Just bro, what's your inst- like niggas pulling up on me? Like I'm finna see. I was talking, bro. Just follow me on the ground. Just follow mm-hmm. me on the ground. Tap in. That's yeah. really that networking shit. That shit easy as fuck. And I'm really giving a lot of people sauce. Like, yeah. it's really like, 
That shit easy as fuck, bro. All right, now if we see an influx in DJs, Willie Rack started this <laughs> shit. <laughs> yeah. like, for real, like, I remember this shit. Now y'all remember this interview, man. Y'all, I'm giving free game, man. You, if you ever want to figure out how to do this shit, just watch this shit, man. R A O P got R A O P. You got it. You I got, got it. it. Yeah. R A O P got rats giving y'all the sauce in this bitch, man. Yes, sir. Now, if now you said you a good DJ, but like some niggas gonna be ass, so like it, the cheat code is being good. <laughs> yeah, if you don't got it. It's 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 in you. It got to be in you, bro. Yeah, you yeah. can't really like that DJ and shit. That shit. It's some shit that it kind of grew on me fast because I got it in me, bro. I love this music yeah. shit. Like this shit since the Lena Holly days. Like <laughs> <laughs> I heard that. Yeah. So. Hey, but for real though, shit been in me, bro. Yeah. All right, let's get into this uh, uh, BHS video real quick, man. Because we were just talking about it. Ball-headed hoe shit. Ball-headed hoe shit, man. Y'all tap in on all streaming platforms. Willie Rats, R-C-K, dollar sign. Don't, don't tap in R-C-K-S. I'm not going to pop up. R-C-K, dollar sign. Put that man. dollar sign on that you shit. You got to put that dollar sign on that shit. That shit ain't going to make sense. All right, so we're going to play this video real quick. I see what you did there. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> For real. Tell us you ain't your zone and shit. Hey, shout out to Gio. I just ran into him before I came in here. Yeah. Okay. Gio, the 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 he he engineered he engineered the studio over there. Okay. Yeah, he shot the video. Gotcha. Let them cheat. So hey, this is the BHS song I was telling y'all about. We'll bro, I play this shit in the club, bro. We'll play it off the TV. Bro, the bitches love this shit, bro. Yeah. Just like my dog said, he got me turned on. Hey. Yeah. The bitches love this song, bro. Man, we taking over. Fuck taking over. Fuck that. Put your hands over your head and make it clout. Hot girl, city girl, let them cheat so. Let me hide the baby, oh, you better eat, ho. Look at baby, right? I stick all on the tippy toes. Baby, think you see that ass all in the shadow? Fuck it up, she cutting up, she on that ball head, ho, shit. I need to see the city girl, and I ain't on none of that post shit. Oh, you remember Willie Ray, you on that 210 shit? Baby, ass going dumb like she don't really much know shit. Hot girls getting toes like bingo. City girls make it easy like a free throw. Watch your back and put your hands on your knees, ho. Classy bitch, but she dancing like a freak ho. Freak ho. Yes, sir, it's a takeover. I need all the hot girls, all the city girls. Turn up for your boy, let's go. Yeah, wow, 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 wow. Now throw it back. Let me see you move for a stack. I got a pocket full of blues and I came in with racks. I'm trying to see you turn it up in your three point stance. Send it over, bust it open. Yeah, do your little dance. If you throw it, I'm going to catch it. Yeah, right in my hand. And switch the motion, go slow motion, yeah, right with your friend. I hype her up, cause that's your bitch, you don't gotta tell him again. I hype her up, cause that's your bitch, you ain't gotta tell him again. Gon' bust it, baby, make it clap, let me touch it. Right, let me touch it. Right, let me touch it. Baby, think you see that ass all in the shadow. Fuck it up, she cutting up, she on that ball head, ho, shit. Gon' bust it, baby, make it clap, let me touch it. Right, let me touch it. Right, let me touch it. Baby, think you see that ass all in the shadow. Fuck it up, she cutting up, she on that ball head, ho, shit. Hot girl. City girl, let them cheat so. Let me, let me hide the baby. Oh, you better eat, ho. Oh, you, you better eat. Oh, you better eat, ho. Baby, baby, think you see that ass all in the shadow? Damn. Hey, let me pop my shit real quick. Drop the top, pull off the lot. Let me pop my shit real quick. Rico Suave, ho. Oh, man, we, we we get into this freedom out here, this freedom money. You feel yes, me? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. That's what it's about. That was hard. What's the story behind the video? How y'all put that together? Because y'all got some ones in that video, so. Mm -hmm. Man, that was really on some social media shit, man. We finna shoot a video. 
<laughs> you want to be in this video, pull up, pool party type shit. And then that shit, we just went from there. See, you should have put that shit out in the club. Been like, I ain't nah. I wasn't DJing then. Oh, okay, okay. I wasn't, I wasn't DJing then. I really de- started DJing. I really started popping in the club. I was DJing since I got my board in January. Gotcha, you feel gotcha, me? Gotcha. But I started popping like right after Rats Flow, like three months. When I started like right after I dropped Rats Flow video, that shit just did, did, that people went to tapping in with me. Like, oh, you DJ, bro? You DJ, bro? You DJ? Cause I went to pushing that shit for real. Mm-hmm. Push yourself, bro. Like, that's always mandatory, man. Promote yourself. Self promotion. People be missing out on that, bro. I'm big on self promotion, bro. I really don't like. Paying young people for to promote me, I promote myself. Yeah, that's what it's about. That's what it's about, man. Yeah, because nobody gonna promote you like yourself, man. Real, nobody bro. gonna know how to promote you like yourself. So a lot of the times, it's it's worth putting the groundwork in yourself than like paying a nigga and like they just gonna post your shit and like be on with be on about their day. So it's it'll never be the same. Yeah, and cause sometimes I feel like it, it go both ways. Like you know, some people be like. It's not what you know is who you know, or it's not who you know is what you know. I feel like it's both ways. It's what you know and who you know. Cause so, exactly. Like, when you broke, it, it it ain't what you know. It's who you know. You yeah, know it only saying? come for different and situations. You, yeah, you, yeah, you yeah. But when overall, you, you got to know both ends. Right. If you don't know you really both do. ends, you're lost. You yeah. feel me? Because then you only going to know what you know, and you don't know nobody. But you're going to know a lot of people and then not know nothing. And then if you don't know both, you're lost. Yeah. Lost in the sauce. Talk to him. Gucci had a famous quote for that. For <laughs> All right, let's backtrack, man. So we didn't ask you like where are you from? So Damn, yeah. So let's get let's get back get into your story a little let's bit. Let's get more. to know Willie Rats. All right, Willie Rats, man. I was born in Virginia, you feel me? But I grew up in Jacksonville and and I've been a, a, a global nigga since then. I, I, I know everywhere else. I ain't really just stuck anywhere. What well, made you go to Texas? What well, had you in Texas? Uh, I used to be getting in trouble and shit. <laughs> oh, okay. This is in high school and middle school and shit. I used to be getting in trouble, and my mom sent me off with my daddy and shit. Damn, what kind of shit you was doing? Some of everything. <laughs> some, of, some of everything. <laughs> some of everything. <laughs> Yeah, hey, yeah, yeah. Uncle, your uncle behind the camera, he know he what you was doing. Over there. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> he was, he was there when I was going through it. Like, I was stay on punishment, all type of shit. It was, I was just bad ass shit. Like, I stay on, stay doing shit. Just uh, dumb ass nigga can't get right. Yeah. <laughs> so, like, how was it when you had went to Texas? Like, going from Jacksonville to Texas. Okay, so I went, I went to Jacksonville to Virginia, to to Texas. Oh, okay. So, I had done adapted to Virginia, you feel me, that cold shit, you feel me? And then I went to Texas and it was just a whole different environment from Virginia in Jacksonville, you feel me? Like it was yeah. just, I fought with Texas, bro. I fought with Texas along way. Texas fought with me too though. Like, yeah. like you see bro, Texas bro, I made a name for myself in Texas bro. Yeah. Like not even just naming a city, like I feel like I done network a lot in, in the whole state type shit. Like, and I ain't just saying that to brag on myself, but I I know people like, you feel me? Texas is a, they fuck with people like. They show Te- a lot of love. Yeah, they show a lot of love, yeah. bro. Texas show a lot of love, bro. Like, I'm a huge Texas fan. Like all the, uh, of, of the artistry and whatnot. Uh, I love the screw music and whatnot. Yeah, I came up me? on all of that. So I'm very tapped in with their culture. Um, but how was that for you like, reshaping yourself as a rapper going through that because i'd imagine in your high school years you still like yeah so me your bars and yeah my high school years you feel me i was still creating myself so it was like i was still figuring this shit out and i can't even lie like text put me onto a whole different type of flow like it's different that's why i feel like i'm raw than a lot of the niggas because i'm different like yeah. I ain't on that same type of time or rap about the same type of shit. You feel me? I got versatile shit. I rap about different shit, bro. Yeah. And I can play songs to show you. Like I got receipts with this shit. Like, uh-huh. and I feel like that's what that's what different different. Like that's that will make me different than people, bro. 
Yeah, yeah, so that's good that you still tapped into Texas because you could go out there and do a show. You could go out there and DJ all that. And I shit. really, I you really am. Go out there and go platinum for real. I really am. <laughs> I really am. I really, yeah. I really am. For, I'm, 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 I'm planning on going out there, Texas, and we gonna turn that bitch up. Y'all, y'all speaking shit to us. This is with me. Cause I was already, I was already had that. It was just on some last, it was on some last minute shit. Like a nigga wanted me right then and there. Like for the BHS takeover, right? We did some old Instagram contest, Turk contest type shit to my song. Yeah. yeah. That bitch went viral, bro. Niggas, nigga hit me up in, in Houston. Mm. Nigga, a promoter hit me up in Houston, bro. I was like, I need you to, prom- to do this shit this weekend. But it was already like Thursday type shit. I'm right. like, damn. I'm not even in Texas, yeah. bro. Like, you got to come correct, you, you feel me? Cause I'm not even, he thought I was in Texas. You uh-huh. see like, a lot of females is fucking with the shit in Texas. Yeah. Like, I had that shit spread it out, bro. Like, the song went crazy. Shout out to Gavin. Dexter made that bitch. Dexter, Dexter in the laboratory for sure. Yeah. <laughs> That's funny. Dexter in the laboratory for sure. So if um if someone were to ask about Willie Rex, right, how would you describe yourself or how would you want to be described as an artist? As an artist, I feel like I would want somebody to be like, he different. Just tap in, bro, bro different. Bro ain't no regular degla. I respect that. Yeah, that's how I want somebody to present me. So everybody watching this, if you trying to put somebody on me, just say that. Yeah, listen to Willie Rats, bro, different. Yeah. <laughs> if you had to uh, recommend a song, you said uh, BHS your biggest song, but if you had to recommend a song in your catalog, which one would you recommend? Uh, Rats Flow. Rats Flow? Yeah, Rats Flow. Rats Flow, like, that's just a takeoff, like, that's just brr. Yeah. Like, you feel like that's your hardest record out right now? Yeah. Outside of, you feel me, club wise, I feel like that's just the rawest one I done dropped. Right, um, right. Fuck how anybody else feel. I fuck with that one the hard way. For what? Let's get into the video then. Let's get it. Rats Flow. I already seen a nigga with a Donald Trump wig. <laughs> that's me right That's me right there. That's me with the Donald Trump. That's my dog, K7, with the Joe Biden. Yeah. Shout out Top Flight. CK dollar sign broke out, nigga. First day out, I, I pops out in my V-Long. Back to the basics, hit Metro, I need three phones. Touch down with it, do my dance in the end zone. Been getting it on my own, nigga, I don't need no loan. Come correct, bitches, Mr. Rats, when you talk to me. These hoes see I'm back out, these hoes back stalking me. I'm boosting out, baby, so what you got to offer me? If you ain't talking about money, don't need much talk to me. I'm from Florida, but I got Wisconsin on the license plate. Eating bricks at night, I don't put on heavyweight. I'm hitting Diddy from the back, she called me her back. Play wrong or right, this shit for life, and just know we forever scrape. Top Fly lifestyle, get lost to get with it. Old money, new money, don't really make a difference. Need to get yourself some money instead of getting in your feelings. Tap in with the sweat and catch an early Christmas. Glock 21, then I ain't that big black jack. My bitch catching balls on one knee. Like a touchback in Arizona, catching plays, balling like Diamondbacks. Ran up the rats, nigga, I never backtrack. Got some pressure built up, I need me a coochie hub. Free Clifford, that's been my nigga since we were jitterbugs. Nigga say he plugged in with the perks, but he was perking. Balling in the mix, something like Kendrick Perkins. Tell the gang how to love, we finna run some plays Finna make a trillion dollars in a trillion ways Lay it low and peep the plot, but never miss the play Whole gang eating bitch, like a buffet Ground hard like you broke, even if you not Try and finesse and finesse him, yeah he got God Free my nigga smooth up the road, screaming why not I got to play for 28 hours west, I call it Marshall Fault Make something my nut and I got the Mac touch Phone jumping, try jumping like double dutch I got this power play out east, I call it Daffy Duck I used to mill this cougar bitch on Duns, eating Captain Crunch So much money, I ain't need much count Shit. Yeah, he bought the shit, but I ain't even much route to shit Way before Corona, I was rats, bitch, I been lit Somebody tell Joe Biden, we need another pandemic I still had these rats if we ain't had a pandemic We make a place for real, nigga, this ain't no damn screaming You just sit that drink, but then I stop, but I be so tempted Wrong or right, this shit for life, and we stand on business
50. Dead faces in my pocket got me looking right. Pedal to the metal like I'm Ricky Bobby. She changed the color to her hair again like Dennis Rodman. We in a big body to just touch down to Wisconsin. Keep my phone on DD while I'm thumbing through some. I don't play with niggas like I'm disabled or something. Worry about me like I'm your damn business or something. Know the asshole you need to go and get you some money. Every time I pop out, got my wrist looking sunny. All she doing suck a swallow, I call her Lil Yoshi. Making plays through the internet and shot out of Dover. And it was long little A way before COVID. Y'all smoking dead niggas, I'm counting dead niggas. That's the difference between me and a lot of these niggas. We seen the Palm Angel and pray the Lord forgive us. All white jerk looking like homemade vanilla. I'm loyal to the Zaza on the white ashes. I done broke the knob, down there broke my glasses. What the fuck? R.S.C.K. Dollar Sign, bro. <laughs> man, I know how mad I get, boy. I get mad as fuck, boy. <laughs> These bitches, bro, it's over with for me. <laughs> you got insurance? No, I'm just saying I be mad as fuck. Yeah, you still be mad. No I matter if you got mad. that shit. No, you gotta put a claim in. Yeah. <laughs> See, I don't wear glasses. I'm, thank God for that. I, I just can't hear for shit. <laughs> I can see I can't hear for shit. I gotta get, I, I can't see you all here. So. Yeah, <laughs> nigga, nigga, hella killer. Yeah, I'm all telling. right, well, what's the story behind this video, Willie? That was just some hanging out shit, man. The story behind that was let's do some shit that make us different. And we just went in the riverside with some masks and shit. Know what vibes I got? What's the name of that group? Uh. They got the Lucini video where they was had the president mask on. Oh, damn. Um, not the far side. That um, shout out P Diddy man. We drinking uh, daily on. Um, nine, nah, right? Ninety three Infinity or some shit. They they had that record. Um, yeah, but what's the name of the group? I'm, I, that, that, <sighs> Listen, I, I can't. That's what. That's the five. It's on I got the tip from. of my tongue. Why did I say ninety three till? But. Um, can't you rap any rap? Yeah, well, anyway, but yeah, that group. I don't do well on the spot. <laughs> that group, yeah, that group, uh, that's what the video reminded me of also. So, yeah, yeah salute that. Salute to you on that. That's a hard-ass video, man, to be honest. For sure. Yeah, All shout right. out to Road at Marley, man. He did that, man. We did that shit. How you pick your beats and whatnot? Shit. I ain't gonna lie, bro. We still on YouTube with this shit, bro. Till we figure this shit out. We just, mm. shit, we tapped in on YouTube. Who are some of your uh, inspirations musically? Who do you listen to, your favorite artists and such? All right, so I ain't got like no one favorite artist. Like, I like, I like, like, top five. I can give you top five. Let's go. All right, like, not in this order, though. It's just these, these niggas I fuck with. Right. I don't got no top artists though. Like it's just hard to choose a favorite artist. I understand. I mean, it's a lot of music out. So. Yeah, you feel me? But uh, I say like, Lil Baby, like that one, Lil Dirt. Uh, shit. I feel like I feel like Future in the Future in the mix. He just be falling off sometimes. Uh, hold on, hold on. He just he dropped an amazing album this year. <laughs> no, this year, he, but this year he did snap. That's yeah. why he, he that's why I can vouch for it. Yeah, it yeah, and yeah. Like he doing, he he fell off for a, a little bit though. Just a like, little. Bit. He fell off for a little bit though. But this year he he fucking went he fucking went crazy. Future came came hard this year. Uh, shit, shit. It's really hard, bro. I gotta say top three. Just it's gonna be hard to say the last two. But they're my top three for sure. Like okay. Lil Dirt, Lil Baby, and Future. I fuck with them boys. You fuck like with that. anybody locally here? Like any artist you tapped in? Like with locally, the, yeah. Like locally. Shit, I fuck with my dog K Seven. Shit, my dog His Will. Shout out New Wave. Shout out Top Flight. Them boys. I fuck with them boys. I shout out Salsa. Chef Salsa. I like. I listen locally. I listen to my nigga. Shit. Right. I fuck with my nigga Chef Salsa. Shit. Everybody the local shit. We got a lot of shit out there. Y'all better tap in. I'm trying to tell you. Y'all heard him. Uh, Joe asked you, what's your favorite? I mean, what's your inspirations uh, in music? What's your favorite? What, I mean, what's some of your inspirations outside of music? Shit, get money. <laughs> That's shit. <laughs> That's a good ass answer. Yeah, That's probably the best answer. <laughs> That's a nigga inspiration outside I wasn't expecting shit. that at all. Yeah. Like. 
But yeah, we getting money for all the right reasons too though. Like it's it's a lot of reasons why you should get out there and get you some money. Man. So definitely that's my inspiration outside of music. All right, man. So I was studying your uh your IG heavy before you came here, man. So um you a family man for sure. Uh how is it balancing family life and the music shit? It's it's a it's a task if you're willing to do it. You feel me? It's it's, 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 it's a task, boy. All right, what you feel like the hardest part of it is? Is really understanding. Like, that's the hardest part is trying to get an understanding with that shit. But, like, with my wife, you feel me? We we did that shit, though. It's an understanding with that shit. Like, right. a lot of niggas can't do that, though. So, once again, I'm different. <laughs> that's what's up. Do you feel like the, uh, the married life, like, makes it easier on you when it comes to making, doing the musical stuff in general? Yeah, at times. Like, yeah. Sometimes and then sometimes it don't, cause sometimes my wife don't be on certain shit, so I can't do it. You feel me? Yeah. It'd be like an understanding type of thing. Sometimes I can't do shit. <laughs> right? Yeah, I feel you. I feel you. I nah, feel you. for real. And I had seen I seen one of your pictures. You was um, you was locked up, man. So of course that that situation is a terrible situation to be in. You a yeah. free man now. You out here making money. You DJing. You rapping. What's the biggest lesson you learned from that situation? The biggest thing I learned in that situation is just, you know, the stay out the way and stay focused. Yeah. And do the right thing. Three things. It's all in the one though. Stay out the way, stay focused, and do the right thing. All three of them, I learned that the whole joke's like, that's why shit fell the way it did. You gotta you gotta learn shit. Sometimes you you can take losses, but if you don't learn shit, it's just Yeah, you took the loss in vain pretty much. It's just you just lost. Yeah. It just <laughs> you just took a loss. But if you learn shit, you can progress with that shit. Yeah. And I feel like I did. I learned. I learned. And shit, we live in life now. So yeah, yeah. So we're gonna move past that quickly, cause you a free man now. You out here making your music, you DJing and whatnot. I'll talk to Freedom man. Boys, man. Shit, yeah. you already know what the fuck going on. I know you met some interesting people in there, definitely for sure. Nah, for real, like it's it be some old crazy shit, like Boy. you know, right? Like, I don't know if you been locked up, so if you been locked up, you nah. probably understand. But shit, it be some old crazy shit. I mean, you fine? We running any type of shit being locked up. <laughs> Some shit you never even thought of. Like, bro, I swear to God, niggas made Monopoly boards and shit. Like, like Duval Monopoly. Like, it'd be some old creative ass <laughs> bro, shit. What? That's crazy. No, nah, it'd be some creative shit going on. We made dice out of deodorant balls. Like, <laughs> some creative shit a nigga never thought of. Nigga sitting down on the stairs just scratching a deodorant ball. Nigga never don't got no time to do that shit right yeah. now, but shit, when nigga. <laughs> Nigga trying to eat, oh, shit. Yeah, nigga. Got shit to do, <laughs> nigga gonna make some time to sit down on them stairs and scrape them deodorant balls, boy. <laughs> nigga gonna shoot them bitches. <laughs> yeah, they said the most creative person you ever gonna find is gonna somebody behind bars. No, that's pretty good. That's, that's a fact. That's yeah. a fucking fact. One hundred percent. The most creative people be locked up, dog. Just, just did some fucked up shit or filed out, and shit. Them boys is jocing, but freedom boys at the end of the day, because. I just feel like everybody deserves a second chance. Oh, 100%. Oh, yeah, definitely, definitely, definitely. 100%. I mean, what's wrong is wrong, but damn, taking a nigga life away forever, that shit hard. Yeah. That shit hard. Especially if I know in. a lot of niggas who ain't gonna see their light, bro. That that guy, that mask you got on, he said he's trying to come back as president. He said you got oh a drug charge. God. He said he's trying to get you life. Donald Trump just be going viral, though. I don't yeah, feel like he like that. that. He that just boy. he just say he just go viral. He just catch yeah, people's just, attention, bro. I don't, I don't think he tripped though. I don't think he he tripped. I, I mean, I, I don't tripping think as if, in the I don't think he'll do that shit for real. Like I think he just trying to go viral, catch. Like yeah, yeah. He just wanted a viral moment, bro. That type. Of if in a world where people would vote for that, right? Yeah, like he, that's that's what he's going for. If people want to do that, then he got them. Yeah, but if in a world that that did exist. I don't think Donald Trump would trip. I think Donald Trump would legit be like, well, look, I just put it out there to the people. They yeah. voted for it. 
<laughs> That's what I'm saying. He I just accepted he's just it, trying you know. to reel every end in. Like he's gonna say he's gonna say way more wilder shit yeah, yeah, than what he just, he just said. This is the start. Yeah, you, you got you gotta remember. <laughs> this is how he started catching people. Or I'm gonna say this, this is gonna catch this is gonna go viral. <laughs> yeah, you gotta remember what his main catch was the first time was build that wall. Ain't yeah, no wall yeah, up. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, and he, he never was, did that shit, bro. Yeah, yeah. Like Donald Trump just be saying shit to catch, they ain't go, even, go viral. They ain't one one even thing about going viral, people gonna tap in. Yeah. You know what that's gonna do? Make people who don't even vote, they gonna vote. Exactly. I don't even know this dude. I'm just gonna vote. Exactly. Because he just said some old crazy ass shit. Some people be for it, and some people don't. And who, but he, you know what he getting? That people that's for that shit. Yeah, for that. Just on some shit. wild ass shit. He got everybody who with that shit. One hundred percent. The one hundred percent. He got everybody who wit locking up drug dealers and shit. He got them, but I don't feel like he wit that shit for real, man. Donald Trump tapped in. Exactly. <laughs> nah, I don't know. You talking about with his drugs? I don't know. You don't think he, he don't on drugs? Think so? Oh, I think he. I think I definitely think he on drugs. No, nah, oh, I'm talking about <laughs> tapped that, in. Like, I definitely think money he is. Drugs. I definitely think he is, but I also think that he would make more money getting folks off the streets. Oh. Maybe I don't know. But Donald he Trump getting people out of the man. system though, so I don't know. He I'm getting gonna tell people you out that, but he getting people back on the street. So Donald Trump don't give a fuck, bro. It's a double edged sword. Just Donald that. Trump. That's one thing I like. I can say I can say that I like about him. He don't give a fuck. Yeah. That's I the, think that's what most people that's, like about him. That's the one thing to love and the 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 biggest thing to hate about. Yeah, him. that's so, it. Yeah. Go it go both sides. He don't give a fuck. If I just me personally, bro. I can't even vote, so it don't even matter with me. So me personally, I just fought his like I don't give a fuck attitude. Yeah, I fought with that the, the long way. If I could, I would vote for you, Donald Trump, for show sure that. <laughs> I think yeah, I think most, uh, I think a lot of black people on the on the Trump wave. So it'd be interesting when he run again. So we'll see. Yeah, he definitely, he definitely, bro. Donald Trump gonna win. Donald Trump gonna fucking blow them. And unless I feel like he really beat Joe Biden, bro. I really feel like they cheated that man, bro. I don't think that. You don't feel like you don't feel like he they cheated him? No, I don't think he I think it was fair and square. I think he lost fair and square. He gonna win this year though. This next coming up. Voting, he gonna win, bro. And I don't even care if he don't win for real. It just shit. Joe Biden be I mean Joe Biden, uh, Donald Trump be snapping, bro. I ain't voting for either of their ass, man. To be honest, but yeah, when that when that ballot come, I'm, I'm gonna be Helen Keller like we were just talking about. No, <laughs> I'm, I'm blind and deaf. And Donald Trump gonna win though. We'll see. So we'll, that, well, when the election could come back, we're gonna we're gonna revisit that. That man tapped in, bro. That man got strings. <coughs> that man got strings he can pull <laughs> off the top. He know what he doing. Whatever he doing, he know what he doing. Yeah. All right, so Willie, let me uh, ask you this one question. Uh, you was talking about uh, people that you was tapped in with the city. Is there anybody else you want to work with in the city that you can think of on top of your head that's not, not in your crew? Uh, shit. I really want to work on, I really want to work with people outside the city more than in the city. Yeah, like, yeah. like, I want to work with my dogs in Texas and shit, but they be yeah. on some. They got their shit going on, so they got they want me to push up the taxi too. So I really be on some outside city type shit. No disrespect though, but I just want to be on some different shit, bro. I don't want to be on this city shit. This city shit be on some whole other shit. You feel me? Yeah, yeah. It's a, yeah. Sometimes the city. Be sometimes you, you even me knowing people, bro. It's just me knowing this because I stay here. Like even yeah. me knowing people be putting me in a bad position, bro. Like. Yeah, and that shit just I just rather go different route than just even making a song with a nigga and nigga say some old crazy shit, and then it be like, damn, this who you rocking with? When nigga know I ain't really choosing no sides, bro. Nigga know that it just I stand on what I stand on, so I yeah. rather just branch out and don't even much confuse people mm. on no other shit. I don't really, I rather much not even confuse people. Yeah, as long as you just you stay clean out here, you be all right. I don't I think it, I don't think it's my business. That's really yeah. what's going on. I know how to stay in my lane. Yeah, I don't think it's in, in a situation where like anybody pressured to do anything, pretty much. But no, I just know if you work with anybody in the city, <coughs> it's gonna put a label on you type shit. Like it really do. Not anybody, but shit, major people like type shit like mm-hmm. major major niggas names. We ain't gonna say names, but it's two particular niggas if you work with. It's like choosing sides. But I think, but everybody else, it'd be all right. 
But it wouldn't be bad to work with them because on network standpoint, you feel me, you snapping. Yeah, yeah, it gets you out like, there. You definitely. snapping though because you, yeah. you reaching a bigger fan base. But it's just like, damn, when you in the city, you know what come with this shit. You feel yeah. me? And I just rather branch out, be on some different shit because that's what niggas own. I feel you. Is there anything you're working on with right now? Because you know, I don't think you got any projects out. So yeah, I'm working take- on my project. You feel me? I'm working on my project and that shit finna drop next year. But ain't gonna drop no dates or none of that. But it's dropping next year. I already got a lot of shit lined up, so everybody stay tuned. VHS takeover and Rats Flow really taking over right now. So yeah, man, we going crazy. All right, so when that drop, you gotta come back because you already told us you're gonna freestyle. So yeah, when I come back for sure, I'm I'm tapped in. R A O P. Y'all don't even know really. Rats tapped in, man. Shout out R A O P, man. We in this bitch. Rackheads, Willie Rats, where the fuck you remember me as? Willie Ray, yeah, shout out to Texas, 210 yes, San Antonio. You know what the fuck going on. Yes, sir. Um, Joe, you got any more questions? Nah, man, I think we <clears throat> I think we covered the basis, man. But yeah, we're gonna have Willie when he dropped that project. He's gonna come back, free we're gonna talk about the project, he's gonna freestyle. Yeah, so, I'll talk when I drop my project. I'm back in this bitch. Oh yeah. So Willie, look in that camera right there, man. Promote all your stuff, all your social medias, anything you want the fans to know. Go ahead. All right, man. Up. It's Willie Rats, man. R A C K dollar sign. Follow me on Instagram. That's two letters. I M Willie Rats. W I L L I E R A C K S. And that's only because Instagram won't let me put no dollar sign on there. You feel me? But yeah, I'm on all streaming platforms. R A C K dollar sign. Everybody tap in, man. It's Willie Rats. Fucking with R-A-L-P, man. We in here. Yes, sir. This has been another episode of Random Acts of Podcast. It's your boy, Ampavelli. Mr. Jefferson. With all that said, we out. <laughs>